and this is the entrance and exit ramp right at Brown Deer Road. This closure was actually supposed to start on Tuesday, but the DOT pushed it back and then pushed it back another day. So according to the DOT, this is going to start today. So if you haven't seen those ramps closed by now, and you're wondering why they're not closed. Uh, the DOT says they're going to close them today and it's going to be closed for about three months to construct that diverging diamond interchange. This morning, Tom, over to you. Adriana, thank you for and in today's talker, a seven year old Philadelphia boy is using social media to share his love of science. Orange make up atoms. Okay. And atoms make up molecules, which make up life. Oh, he's cute. so cute. Once a week, Cree Carroll can be found on his TikTok channel called Cree TV, teaching <laughs> science lessons. Oh. He has close to 16,000 followers. Cree scored in the top 2% of the general population on an improved intelligence test, qualified for Mensa, and was accepted into a special community of like-minded individuals. When he is not busy making those educational videos, Cree likes to visit Philadelphia's museums. No of surprise. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where he gets a lot of his knowledge from, yeah. I'm sure. And oh, books and I studying. love this story. Me too. I love it. And he breaks down some complicated science topics very easily, so anyone can understand. But I just love to see young kids excited about science and sharing that love with others as well. And I hope he gets a lot more followers. He needs his own TV show as well. <laughs> Tyler, you think he, yeah. he breaks down meteorology at all? Oh, I'm sure he does. I mean, I was watching some of the videos this morning and he goes into some deep stuff. I mean, yeah. it was throwing me back to like high school biology and chemistry <laughs> level classes. At seven. Like, yeah. You're giving me PTSD of some yeah. of these classes in the test. No, but he's got a great future. I'm excited to see what he does. And obviously something in the science field. It seems mm -hmm. like he's drawn to. I like how it's once a week. Like he's like, you know, I'm too busy. I, I can only be <laughs> there school. once a week for y'all yeah. to teach you some sort of science lesson. I have to go to the museums. Listen, are you smarter than a seventh grader? I mean, a seven year old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably not. Very cool there. Well, it's a good segue into what the weather's gonna be like for the kids heading out the door this morning.